okay now folks i am on my way to queen uh, mahamaya's and prajapati gautami's father's home that is uh, bankaj baisakha mispronounced as devda baisakha is mispronounced as devda and i am going towards the pond on which the buddha used to bathe in his childhood that is the servant pond the this pond uh, both the kuliyas and the sakyas had the right over the waters both the kuliyas and the sakyas had the right over the waters do it was in sakya a uh, kuliya territory and this is the pond where the mythology is that uh, the kuliyas uh, took 500 sakya maidens from that pond so basically that is servant bonds yes, the kuliyas and sakyas they were uh, what do you call it brother in law the kuliyas and sakyas were brother in law so uh, that bond is the brother in law bond sar means brother in law sar means brother in law and ghat is a bathing ghat so that is the bathing ghat of the brother in law in which both the sakyas and the kuliyas had the right to the water folks so i am going towards that i am excited this is i am traveling this now in kuria territory i have left sakya territory behind and i am traveling towards what the buddhist called devda and uh, what do you call it uh, the uh, sarghat pond the devda pond actually it is sarghat sarghat means the brother in law's pond folks so folks wish me the best of luck i am approaching that pond thank you it is the sarghat pond and nothing else what uh, this has to say about the kolias see a quarrel once arose between the two tribes regarding uh uh the right of the waters of the rohini that is your karma hayya river the quarrel once rose between the two tribes between the rights of the waters of the karma hayya which irrigated the land on both sides and a bloody feud was averted only by the intervention of the uh, buddha so basically the buddha was in jetav and when he heard about it he came rushing to this uh, place and he uh, what do you call it Co- called both the group they were both his relatives and he uh, explained to them it was useless it was a bad thing to shed the blood of a chatriya in gratitude each tribe dedicated some of his their young men in the membership of the order and during the buddha stay in the neighborhood he lived alternately in kapalavastu and uh, kolia nagar so he stay lived uh, alternately in Ka- uh, kapia e and uh, what do you call it uh, kote so kote khas so folks uh, le- le- let's see uh, what do you call it where uh, the buddha made these two groups stop uh, fighting and uh, uh, do a truce amongst them and he told them about the futility of shedding chatriya blood so you have it all here here you have kapia e and you have the karma hayya river so you can see the karma hayya river flowing to the south east now that is uh, what the buddhists have mis- uh, uh, renamed or mis pronounced as rohini the karma hayya as rohini now the buddha they were both of them were fight going to fight see this is all kapia territory kapia e kapia e bakhariya sani kaura uh, what do you call it uh, bahadurpur and uh, this side was uh, uh, sakya territory or this side of the river so this is murila e murila means to turn around so this is the village where the buddha was seen sitting on a log and both the groups went to him in murila the name is here but the village is here the stupa is here you see all the villages people have settled down on top of the stupas So Murila means to turn around. See, you have the it is right on the river banks, 
and uh, what do you call it? The Buddha came in time and he caused both the warring groups to turn around. Murila E. This stupa's name is Murila E, means to turn around, to do a truce. And uh, what do you call it? Uh, village settled on top of it, so the village is Murila E. Okay, folks. See, now that you have seen all the other spots, now we can come to the main. The pond, the Devdaha pond. There was no pond called Devdaha. Because in the Devdaha pond, both the Shakyas and Koliyas had the right to the waters and both of them would bathe in it. Now, both of them were brother-in-laws. Brother-in-laws. So, that pond was named the brother-in-law's pond. See, this is Saar Ghat. Saar means brother-in-law. Sar means brother-in-law, Ghat means uh, a bathing spot. So this was the bathing spot of the brother-in-laws. Uh, folks, and uh, let's see a close-up of this. The Sar Ghat temple. Uh, let's see when I click on it, what happens. Uh, the Sar Ghat temple. Uh, see there a picture of it let's click on it see this is the temple with the pond in the background and see you will notice one peculiarity about this temple is there are a lot of elephants here see whoever uh, wishes something he what do you call it uh, 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 and his wish is fulfilled he makes an elephant here and he presents it uh, to this temple so basically, you, we know that uh, when Mahamaya was, uh, the first sign of pregnancy was she dreamt that an elephant had entered her body, her womb. So folks, uh, the people do not know what's the meaning of the elephant, but it is an ancient ritual, a custom. If a wish is fulfilled in this temple, they, uh, what do you call it? Uh, uh, well, make uh, some uh, artisans make an elephant and they present it to this temple. So you have this whole row of elephants, elephants there, here, here and on the other side also. And you have the pond. So this is the, this temple is on the spot of the uh, bathing spot of the, uh, uh, what do you call it, Goliaths and the Kapiyas, uh, the Shakyas. The Shakyas and the Koliyas, folks. Now uh, you can view the video. Okay, now, folks, I am in the Sarvagar temple. I showed it to you just now in the what do you call it? Uh, satellite picture. Sarvagar temple means Sar. Sar means uh, brother in law. So, this is the brother in law's pond in, in Devdaha. That is your bunker by Sarka. And uh, see, look around me. You uh, can see all the elephants up here. Now this is uh, Sargat. You can see the lake behind the, the row of elephants. Now uh, you, the lake is mentioned in Buddhist scriptures uh, as uh, Dev Daha. Actually it is Sargat. I will explain that later. Now what you call it, uh, uh, Buddhists know that when the Buddha was born, he dreamt that, uh, what do you call it, and, uh, his mother Mahamaya dreamt that a white elephant entered her. And then uh, see, and you see all these elephants around her here, and this is the, this, uh, uh, what do you call it, Samai Mata temple. Samai Mata has been mispronounced as um, uh, Mahamaya. Samai Mata, see, she was very, uh, Samai means a period of time. She was in this world for a short period of time and people uh, when they ask for a wish and the wish is fulfilled they make the, this elephant and leave it here. It is sort of a symbolic gesture that I am leaving the Buddha. See this lady, white lady on a white elephant on a lotus. This is Mahamaya and no one else sitting on a lotus on top of an elephant. So basically what happens is people present her with the Buddha by giving her the elephant uh, by giving this uh, what do you call it uh, temple and elephant 
they are actually presenting this temple with the Buddha. They are giving Mahamaya her son with her back. Because uh, if you Buddhists uh, remember, when before the Buddha's birth, Mahamaya dreamt that a white elephant had entered her. So folks, this is your Sanghar temple with all these elephants. This is very symbolic and uh, what do you call it, uh, this is the temple and uh, you see these elephants, they all represent the Buddha. Folks, this is Indian Buddhism. Indian Buddhism, you have to have the eyes to see and recognize Indian Buddhism, folks. So this is your the Sarghat temple for you. Uh, this is a mind uh, of mine and Dev Daha. Your Mankat by Sakha is just close by. Water is to be supplied from this lake to Mankat by Sakha or Devdaha.